Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today's video lesson, we're going to be continuing with grade 11 maths algebra, maximum and minimum values. In the previous video, we looked at the November 2019 paper one question on maximum and minimum values. And this was question 1.4. So in this particular video lesson, we're going to be looking at the question that appeared in the November 2018 paper one. And let's go look at that question, which is 1.4. Show that the maximum value, show that the maximum value of square root of minus x squared plus 4x plus 12 is 4. So firstly, what is a maximum or a minimum value? Well, in a quadratic equation or a parabola, as discussed in the previous lesson, remember that you can find the maximum minimum value as follows, minus b over 2a, and that will be from your quadratic equation, y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. So there's your b and your a values. And remember that this is to find your axis of symmetry for the x value of your turning point for your parabola. And the y value can be found, remember to be your maximum or your minimum value for your parabola. So you've got to substitute your x value into your original equation to find the maximum or the value. Now, a maximum value means that a is less than zero. You can see a is minus one, okay? So remember that if a is less than zero, you are going to get a maximum value. If a is positive, which means it's greater than zero, you are going to get a minimum value. Remember, maximum value looks like that. That means highest y value there. Okay, and a minimum value obviously will look like that, right guys? So, so that's max and this one is minimum value. So basically, uh, the other way that we can actually do it is to write in the complete square form, which is y equals to a into x plus p all squared plus q. And remember that the coordinates of the turning point will be minus p and plus and remember now that that would be either your max or your minimum value. And that will depend solely on the value of A. If A is positive, you'll get a minimum value. If A is negative, you'll get a maximum value. So let's look at our question. That the square root of minus x squared plus 4x plus 12, we must show that the maximum value is 4. So in order to answer this particular question, we can do it in one of two ways. We can do it by completion of the square or by using the formula x equals to minus b over 2a. Let's do the first one, which is x equals to minus b over 2a. x equals to minus b over 2a will be, so that'll be my b value here, b is equals to 4, the coefficient of x, and a equals to negative 1. So therefore, we'll have minus b over 2a, so that's minus, that's b is 4, 4 over 2 times minus 1. So we've got minus 4 over minus 2, which is equal to 2. So that's my axis of symmetry. So let's substitute that now back into the original equation. And the original equation is minus x squared. So y equals to minus x squared. So minus, that's 2, minus 2 squared plus 4 times 2. That'll be plus 4 times 2. And what else do we have there? Plus 12, plus 12, plus 12, which is going to equal 2. So 2 squared is 4, so that's minus 4, plus 4 times 2 is 8, plus 12. So what do we have here? 8 plus 12 is 20, minus 4 is 16. So therefore, what can we conclude? We have the square root of 16, which is equal to 4. Therefore, the square root of 16 is equal there you go that's your answer so that's one way of doing it okay by using the formula now let's go have a look at it by completing the square so therefore let's write that down so this is an alternative so you can say the square root of minus x squared plus 4x plus 12 minus x squared plus 4x plus 12 equals 2 square root of 
So let's look at completing the square here now. So we're going to take out, remember, we must have a coefficient of positive 1. So it'll be minus into x squared minus 4x and minus 12 is equal to the square root of minus into. So let's square that one now. So what we're going to do is we're going to remember how do you complete the square? You have to add and subtract half the coefficient of x all squared. So it's going to be x squared minus 4x and then you're going to add and subtract so let's add what's half the coefficient of x so it's half of minus 4 is minus 2 all squared and let's subtract that same value which is minus 2 all squared and now you've got minus 12 which is left there okay so what are we now left with we are left with the following square root of minus into x so here you've got x and minus 2 so you put x minus 2 all squared and now what are you left with here you're left with minus minus 2 all squared is going to be minus minus 4 and minus 12 is minus 16. square root of now if i take minus into the brackets i'm going to be left with minus x minus 2 all squared and that's going to be plus 16. So now if we have to look at that, remember therefore the square root of 16, which is now my maximum value there, is going to equal to square root of 16 is going to equal to 4. Learners, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe to JL Maths. Also, you can watch all videos in all of the work schedule on jlmaths.com. Also like my Facebook page, Justin Lazarus Mathematics.